Hey everyone. Yes, today we are going to discuss the very controversial list of the 250 greatest guitarists as put out by Rolling Stone magazine. I understand we probably shouldn't give much credence to a magazine like Rolling Stone, especially after what it's become of late, but they did put this list out and it just makes you wonder who is behind the scenes discussing these names when you see who is left off of the list. I mean, some of it reads like somebody from the 90s who suffered a severe head injury and then went into the meeting. It's that absurd. When you put together a list of 250 greatest guitarists of all time, you might at least want to have a couple of guitar players in the room to debate this with you. I don't want to really spend time on those who made the list who shouldn't have because I understand this is all super subjective and they're discussing the impact they had on the guitar community and all of that sort of thing. But if you want to see the absurdity of this list, just look it up for yourself and ask yourself how they put someone in there at number 18 of the greatest guitarist of all time. So yes, the list doesn't make much sense at all, and you've seen rants about it, and so I'm going to get my two cents worth in today. You can tell I got my glasses on, so not only I look smarter, but I can read some of the names that I put down. I looked at the list and I saw names that were left off and it was truly absurd. Ingve Malmsteen, give me a break. Why is this guy not on the list? I don't care what you think of him. We had Van Halen in the early 80s who was blowing everybody's mind, but the next big guy to come along and absolutely floor people with his guitar playing was Ingve Malmsteen. I know we had Randy Rhodes and a, a lot of, you know, the, the Scorpions, a lot of great players, but Ingve was truly the one that kind of set everything on fire in the instrumental world and caused all of these clones to come out, and not just clones, but he inspired other legends. There are legends who will mention that, yeah, when I heard Ingve, I started practicing more, I started doing this and that and the other. So it's not just guitar players mentioning it, it's other icons and legends mentioning this guy. And he's been doing it for 40 years, 40 plus years. But 40 years later, he's still packing theaters to see instrumental rock. I mean, who does that for so long? It's hard, it's difficult. And there's just a handful of guys who can do that. And he's one of them. He should have been way up on the list. A massive influence. You wanna know how influential he is? Just look at how many reaction videos there are to him on YouTube. It's crazy. And these are people reacting to things he recorded 40 years ago who are blown away. So it's not like he's some fresh new kid on the block who's blowing somebody's mind. They're listening to stuff that is still iconic to this day. Al Di Miola, where is he on the list? I mean, Friday Night in San Francisco, one of the most influential acoustic live albums of all time, not to mention all of his other uh, acoustic and electric playing that I've seen him live many times. He's absolutely mind-blowing. He's also influential to so many other guitarists around the world and has been longer than Yngwie. <laughs> so I don't know why he's omitted from this list, but it just goes to show there they could not have had guitar players sitting in the room putting this list together. Steve Morse? How about another guy who's been around for 40 plus years? Dixie Dregs, Deep Purple, influence a ton of players. Uh, I remember as a kid seeing him in the magazines and the guy was a legend almost immediately and everybody who is worth their salt on guitar knows who Steve Morse is. He's, I, it's just unbelievable he's not on the list. Paul Gilbert, come on. Paul Gilbert is one of the biggest guitar players from the past 30 plus years. And every guitar instructor knows it because at some point or other, you've probably run across either his videos or his music. And he's been in so many you know, one-off groups, not to mention, of course, you know, Racer X and Mr. Big, but he's been in a lot of little projects. His solo work is ubiquitous. 
I mean, come on, the guy is absolutely phenomenal and has been forever, and he's his playing has evolved as well, but is still liked by not just a lot of new fans who discover him, but his old fans have stuck by him, I think. John Petrucci, 250 greatest guitar players of all time, and you can't put John Petrucci on that list. One of the most influential prog guitarists of all time, you know, up there with Alex Lifeson, Trevor Rabin, Steve Howe, I mean, come on. <laughs> it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, Dream Theater, Liquid Tension Experiment. His guitar is the second highest selling signature guitar of all time behind the Les Paul. Didn't make the list. The impact he has had on the guitar community is ridiculous. And to leave him off the list is just, yeah, it, it lets you know what this list is all about. Joe Pass, you can't put one of the greatest jazz guitarists of all time on a list that has 250 names. Come on, man. I got to see Joe Pass one time before he died in a, in a concert. I used to work in a concert hall out in uh, Pasadena. And so I got to see him perform one time, which was mind blowing. But I also had the um, cool experience of working in the auditorium when he recorded an album there. The album called After Hours, let me make sure I get the uh, other players. He, it was with uh, Andre Previn and Ray Brown. They recorded that while I was working downstairs uh, cleaning up. Yeah, I was a janitor in, a, in an auditorium and it was awesome to listen to Joe Pass record something live like that. So it's an album I actually don't own. I need to go get that. These last couple of names, yeah, they could be debated, but come on. Guthrie Govan. Guthrie is one of those guys who set YouTube on fire. I mean, it's just unbelievable the impact he's had on electric guitar playing. One of the best. You can hear him on his solo stuff. You can hear him with... Uh, the Aristocrats, of course, is the, the band he tours with now. He plays with Hans Zimmer. Hans Zimmer was so blown away with him, actually through his YouTube videos, and contacted him and hired him for his touring band. Uh, he works with Stephen Wilson, has some of the most iconic solos there. He's the guitar player for other guitar players, you know? I mean, and he is truly astonishing to... To witness live because his improvisation is just off the charts. It's, it's a beautiful thing and it's a cruel thing that he's not on that list. Last one I'll say is Bumblefoot. Now I will say that Bumblefoot is probably a little more obscure than you know some of these other legends like Ingve or Petrucci of course, but Bumblefoot in the guitar world is so highly respected. He, now he did play with Guns N' Roses and Sons of Apollo is his current band, so he has had some high profile gigs. But in the guitar world, people know who Bumblefoot is, and I'll tell you one of the people who really knows who Bumblefoot is, and that is Guthrie Govan. <laughs> they were pen pals back before the internet. They actually traded licks and things like that and, and wrote back and forth to one another. And Bumblefoot is one of the most gifted musicians and guitarists, of course, that you'll ever see. And even though he didn't make this list, you should check him out. He's absolutely insane. He has perfect pitch. He can play anything almost immediately after hearing it one time. And it doesn't matter the difficulty of it. He'll figure it out. So his brain is um, operating at warp speed and it's truly a thing to witness and if I were putting together a list he would clearly be on it because he has influenced a lot of other players and even if you can't play much of the stuff that he plays because it's it's pretty impossible it does influence you to get better and to try different phrasing ideas that he does so Bumblefoot is worth checking out his name's Ron Thal his stage name is Bumblefoot but definitely worth checking out that's it for now. That's my little rant on this. I don't 
give much credence to that list, of course, but I wanted to throw these names out because, come on, these guys are worthy of recognition, and they worked hard, too. I mean, these guys are still touring after years and years and putting in the time and the effort to put quality music out. And if you don't know some of the names I mentioned, go check them out. It's really worth your time because they'll give you some inspiration too. If you're not already a subscriber, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Please hit the like button if you like this video and share it if you will. I appreciate you checking it out and we'll see you all next time.